This is a 2013 Jeep Grand Cherokee Overland and today I'm going to be replacing the head unit with a brand shiny new Ties head unit, this one here. Now this brand is particularly interesting because it comes with everything I need to actually fit it into this vehicle including a new dash trim, all the wires and canvas decoders so that all of the steering wheel controls etc will work. So this really should just be quite plug and play. So I'm gonna find out how plug and play it is now. So let's just start by opening the cubby hole down here and then we can just pop our fingers underneath this plastic trim and just pull. You can see it starts to come away, just gently pulling it away from the dashboard. Like so, there we go. And then on the back of this, you will see that it has these two connectors here and here. And what we want to do is just take them out. Like so. And we'll just put this for one side. So now we can see the existing head unit has these four seven millimeter bolts. So we'll just take those out now. And now it should just slide out. Now we just pull out these plugs. So that's the old head unit out and ready for the new one. So now we grab the looms that came with the new TIE system. And the main loom has this Jeep connector on it. So we're gonna plug this directly into the Jeep loom like so nice and easy the other item that we have here is the jeep's antenna adapter and on one side it has the facra connector which goes to the jeep and the other side has the generic antenna which will go into the ties system so we're going to plug this in to this white facra like so now on this main loom the next thing we need to plug in is the canvas decoder which is this red box which is designed for this particular car so we just plug it in here like so. so. The next thing is the GPS antenna. Now this doesn't need to be too long, this wire, so I should leave it bundled up and just extend it a little bit. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop the GPS antenna up underneath the top of the dashboard, just between the dashboard and the insulation that you can feel that is there. And then the 5G Wi-Fi antenna, which essentially we're gonna do the same thing. Um, leave it bundled up, we don't need too long a cable. And again, we want it sort of up above the vents, out of the way, between the insulation and the top of the dashboard. And then we'll do the same with the 4G connection as well. And just pop it up on the, over the other dent, vent. The next thing I'm gonna do is install an external microphone. Now the ties doesn't actually come with one of these, but they're literally about five quid on eBay. So I'm gonna fit one because it does actually make a difference for me. So when you're threading the microphone through the dashboard to get it up here, you're looking for access points, which is gonna make this easier for you. So there are, there are two main access points that you're interested in. The first one is underneath the steering wheel, because under here, you've got this sort of leather uh, section which will allow you to get your fingers in okay so that means that we can run a cable inside here the second one is if i open the door this plastic panel here so if you give it a bit of a pull it'll open up and that will give us access in here as well and this is where i'm going to be running the wire so first of all we're going to undo our microphone and we're gonna grab the microphone end. I'm just gonna remove the clip for now because it's gonna be in the way. 
And that, I find the easiest way to do this is with um, a length of thick cable, okay? Because we're gonna use this as a guide. We're gonna thread this through from the door side to where the dashboard is. And then we can use that to then pull the microphone cable through. So I'm gonna start threading my cable through here. And then I'm gonna put my fingers in here. I'm gonna look for that cable as it gets threaded through. There we go. And there it comes. And now we're gonna do it again, but this time we're gonna get the cable to come through into the main dashboard. And here's the wire coming through. So now I've got a wire that goes from here to here. So what I'm gonna do now is pop off the foam of the microphone. I'm gonna use some tape to tape it to the wire that I've got threaded through. Like so. And now I'm going to very carefully pull my cable back through. And there we go. I now have my microphone on the other side of the dashboard. So I'll just untape this now. So give yourself some slack, but being careful not to pull it too far. So the next thing you wanna do is just put your fingers in the top of the pillar up here and just give it a bit of a tug. And you'll see it just comes loose. And you'll be able to then run the cable down the length of the inside of your pillar. At this point, we can put our foam back on. And then just push the pillar back in place. It should just clip back in. And just run your finger down the rubber so that the rubber is sitting on the outside of the pillar like it should be. And it should just be back to normal again. And then just move the microphone to wherever you want it. I'm gonna just put it in the top corner just there. Then next what you want to do is just push the cable underneath the rubber, rubber all the way down like so. until it's here. And then just replace this plastic trim again. So we've got quite a bit of excess of the mic cable. So what I'm gonna do now is just gonna wrap it up a bit so that we don't have so much. Keep things a little bit neater behind the uh, head unit. Then find the loom which has the SIM card holder because also on this loom, it also has the mic input. So we're gonna just connect the mic to this loom now. I think what I'm also going to do is this SIM card is probably gonna be something useful to gain access to from time to time. So um, I'm going to actually put it down below the steering wheel here where this rubber uh, access point is, um, just so that if I need to gain access to it in the future, then I can. And there we go. So I can just hide that in there, but we know where it is when we need it. And then the microphone, as I said, we're just gonna plug the 3.5 millimeter jack into that. And then we're, we're done with that as well. Now for the USB ports, there's a couple of options here. Like one of the options could be that we could drill inside the armrest and we can have the USB port sort of hiding inside the armrest. But I'm gonna take the same route as I did with the SIM card and just have them hiding inside underneath the steering wheel because that is a nice easy way to have access to them but also to have them hidden away. Very nice. And then we'll just put this behind here. Now I do have the Ties rear view reverse camera but I'm not gonna install that right now but I'm gonna do a separate video installing this. So at the moment everything's ready to go so I'm gonna start putting this together. So the next point of call is to grab the fascia that you've got from Ties. So this is what is going to basically go onto the dashboard. So I'll just take this protective coating off of it. So now we're gonna grab the head unit. And we're just gonna place it on this fascia. Like so. That looks awesome. Now in the Ties packaging, you get this little screwdriver and some screws, and this is what is going to hold the head unit into this plastic vessel. It's done.
starting to take form. Looks pretty damn good. So obviously the old fascia has the air conditioning and these other buttons as well as and the vents. So we now need to take all of this stuff off and put it onto the new the new one. So these are all held in with T15 Torx screws. So that's what we're going to. Uh, Hopefully the screw holes will line up on the new one here. And then finally, the vents need to be removed from the old one. So to get the vents in, you need to screw in these little adapters. Again, we can use the, uh, the screws and the screwdriver that was actually supplied with the unit. For this to fit, you then you need to break off the two clips on the top of this because they prevent this from working. So just grab them and snap them off with some pliers. And then you'll find that it should just slip in nicely once you have put in the other two screws. Nice. Now just do the last one. Last thing on here to do though is next to the bottom part here we are missing some dash trim clips and that's what these these little things are here. And the last thing on the old dash trim are these clips that are on all of the plastic parts, these metal, these little metal clips. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these off and then we're going to, we're going to add them to uh, our new one. And there you have it. Each of these clips have now got the orange clips from the original one as well. So we have a fully completed unit ready to go in back into the dashboard. I'm going to start with the car's original HVAC and buttons. And now that they're plugged in, we can start plugging in the new system. So we've got the antenna 
which plugs in here. We have the main loom, which plugs in here. And off the main loom, you also have this smaller white wire, which plugs in here to You have the USBs, which plug in here. You have the SIM card and the microphone. Which plug in. Then we have the 4G antenna. The Wi-Fi antenna. And then the GPS. All right, now we'll just start clearing up some of these wires. One thing that was slightly disappointing is that the USB connection, um, this thing here is for the armrest USB, the one in here. And, and there's no adapter included with the ties to make use of this. Um, so this is a standard connection. And for example, I have a, a Linkswell system Android unit, which does actually come with one of these connectors. Um, which fit this but the unfortunately the other side will not fit in the tie so I can't use that so what I've resorted to is using a an adapter from female mini USB um, and then on the other side of it it's got the uh, standard USB connector and I'm going to use that to plug into the standard USB that comes with the uh, ties unit and hopefully this should now fall nicely in Look at that. Right, moment of truth. Let's see if it works. Oh, wow. <laughs> 